Hello, welcome to my channel and welcome to the Studio ABC Surf Video Hop. Today I am doing my very first pour and I'm not using a pour medium or a blowtorch. I have just combined a lot of recipes that I have seen online and I'm using PVA glue as the pour medium and adding silicone to the paint. This is a combined method of many videos that I have watched. I'm also using uh, the cheapest of the cheap acrylic paint from Walmart. And since it is sand and surf, I am using beautiful blue and turquoise colors of the surf and a little bit of tan for the sand. Now, I, since this is my very first pour, I'm going to just use a small canvas for experiment and maybe if I'm lucky I may go on and try that little frame. So uh, here goes nothing, right? Uh, we'll just jump in and see how it goes. Now a lot of the videos that I have watched and I can't credit anybody's particular because I have I have been studying and watching several but many people do use PVA glue as their pouring medium, uh, about 20 to 30% ratio with the paint, and then adding water for that perfect consistency. And that consistency to me was just a visual of it dropping off of uh, their mixing sticks. So I'm just trying to replicate what I saw and come up with uh, a good consistency for this paint. I don't believe it's really an exact science. Um, maybe if uh, using more consistent ratios, it might be a more consistent result. But I'm doing this just for fun and for experiment. So uh, let's just see what happens. Okay, I've got the colors mixed now. I'm mixing the white to use my base. And I'm going to first start with what is called a dirty pour, uh, where you put the colors into a cup and then tip it onto the canvas. Now I'm working here for a little bit different consistency. For some reason, I decided one needed more paint and the other needed more glue. I don't know, I'm making it up as I go along. Okay, now we're going to add just a bit of silicone to each one. I'm doing one Squirt. Uh, one of the videos told me to use two squirts, but they were using more paint than I am. So one squirt it is. Okay, wish me luck. Now I made a little uh, drip box out of a cereal box and some paint bottles. Okay, now this is uh, the dirty pour. And I forgot until the end where one of the instructors said to raise the, raise the paint up high and let it pour in from, from a few inches above it. Okay, we're going to put it on the canvas, flip it over, and here it comes. I think it's beautiful. I believe I'm getting some cells that they talk about. Um, probably I could have enhanced them more with um, a blowtorch or heat gun, a heat torch, but... Um, it was beautiful. It just was flowing and and making little pockets of color. I was quite pleased with it. It reminded me of the, the surf and the foam washing up around your feet uh, as you stand there at the sand at, at the edge of the shore. I loved it. So I'm just using the stick to pull a little more off the corners. And... I'm going to set that aside and let it dry. Okay, now I'm going to move on to this frame. I'm feeling brave using the last of my paints. I did not prepare the board. I saw some boards prepared, some boards not. I might prepare my board the next time. I'm starting with the sand at the bottom and going from light to dark with the colors of the surf and then 
just letting it flow across the frame over and back and down and there's a little paint left so I'm going to just scrape everything out use it all up continue with this experiment and just see how it turns out I might would have done better with a little more paint but I was just using leftovers not got a whole lot invested in this picking up a little paint from the overdrip and putting some on the edges where I didn't get a good coverage on the edge and so I let this dry for a little bit and then uh, well, I let it dry for a long time and covered a, a board with burlap adding some seashells and um, yeah I think it turned out pretty cute it it feels very oceany and surfy to me now this is a part of the video hop so I want to encourage you to keep hopping and in the description box below uh, follow all the way through and see everybody's uh, projects that they did and as a part of this video hop we are giving away prizes again to subscribers that leave comments all the information is in the description box below so be sure and comment and uh, stay tuned for the drawing to see if you are the lucky winner thanks so much for watching now here are some close-ups